Happy Venus Day to you. Happy Venus Day to you. It's Friday, Venus Day. Friday is ruled by Venus. And Venus is currently at five degrees Aries, which is the statue of a god worn smooth by devotees kissing. So romantic. Honoring the spirit within at all costs. Insisting upon the vertical aspect in all things. So upright, supportive, standing, demanding, commanding. Um, I'm taking pole classes right now, so I know that I can really lean on something that's upright and secure. <laughs> um, you feel driven by the heart to go to any lengths to express and embody the realization of divinity. Let me read that again. You feel driven by the heart to go to any lengths to express and embody the realization of divinity. I feel that with my yoga practice for show. Um, it translated really well into pole today for me, so that was very nice. <clears throat> Intoxicated with the divine, called beyond, and taken by a passion. You are dedicated and consecrated and given over, transported into other realms, ecstatic, a frenzy of conviction that nothing matters except the ultimate, swept away, released into the cosmos, liberated from the wheel, and expressing the inexpressible with consummate conviction. Holy smokes. That's passion. That's being alive. Um, anyone who would like to, I listened to Deepak Chopra's Rumi album, and it's amazing, like... I think it's 1994, 1997. Demi Moore is on it, and she's like reading a Gibran poem, and it's, or Rumi, maybe it's Gibran. Yeah, it's Gibran. Regardless, it's been amazing to experience that and feel the immense devotion to the divine. And I find that Venus, I'm learning more about her as I study astrology. She moves really fast through the zodiac, and I think that we're coming to a point in our journey where we are getting still with this reflection of the divine within us, and we are learning to truly carry it into everything that we do. And this way of living is something that doesn't need to be anything more than gratitude. It doesn't have to be anything more than consistency. Again, time is a container. I'm going to do that with a lot of things now and just continue my experimentation with my life. So where you are balancing out yourself with others, that's what Venus represents is balance in relationships. I also think that it represents self-value. Taurus represents value. Then the higher octave of the Venusian rural planet Libra is self-value. How do you value yourself and carry that in, into your world, into your relationships? Let me know, comment if this helped you, and I will see you in the next daily Inside Degree. Blessings.